Okay, today's project is we are getting prepped for a um, fountain that we bought. We finally found the right water feature that we wanted to put here and we wanted another fountain, but we wanted it to have a pool at the base for the kids to, to splash in with their hands and enjoy our grandchildren. So we just took out a maple tree that volunteered here. It was a regular full-sized maple and that was it. It volunteered here and it was already as tall as our ornamental maples that we did plant here and it was just going to get too big to be right next to our gazebo. So it volunteered and we just waited too long to take it out and that thing shot up so anyway we're back to getting this prepped and i wanted to give a before of what it looks like um i had put this down last year um it kind of is a dry riverbed look all the way around this section of the woodland garden and um so we're gonna have to move this out and change the lines of that uh, we will lift up this fabric. It's there to suppress weeds only until we get started, but I'm not going to leave fabric down. So we're going to try to dig this out. We do have an electric box that's kind of rotted back here. So my husband's going to take that out and eventually redo the electric in this area. So we still have to get this out and we're going to remove uh, a volunteered holly tree and spirea that we planted probably 18 years ago that is now in the shade this was all full sun when we planted it and it's now completely shaded so it just looks weedy and not attractive and the plant is not happy there so we're going to get out um, probably a, that bunch of spirea okay we're going to get started Okay, here's what we're going to do. Since it's so rusted up, we can cut it up. <laughs> he did check to make sure that, <laughs> with the t that it was off <laughs> with the tester. He's an experienced man in electrics. You actually went to school for some kind of electronics, didn't you? I did. When I was in high school. Yeah. Vocational school. Yeah, you don't really want uh, that connections to be plugged into. It's Rot it. <laughs> really uh, rusted and damaged, and so we'll then we'll put in a actual outdoor socket and uh, with a lid that can be sealed and closed off so that the weather doesn't get in there. And then we'll wire a switch up to the, for the fountain like we have with our other fountain. We just turn it on and off with a switch. Yes, it works perfectly. Job done. Okay, we've reached this stage of the clearing. 
and we got everything back. We unearthed the junction box that was back here and we're gonna just close that up. And then it kind of led to clearing out all the old spirea that's been here for 20 years, but since this maple grew up, it can't, it can't uh, get any light. So it's struggling in there and it looks scraggly. And it was time, it was sad to bring out 20 year old shrubs, but it was their time. So this is where we're at. We just um, spread some composted cow manure. And what are we doing next? Uh, we have to level this off a little bit. We're a little low, like a reverse L here. Okay. Just, just to get it leveled before we put the patio block down for the base of the fountain. Okay. And uh, we should be good soon. Yeah, then uh, we'll be leaving to get some block, maybe. We might be too tired. Okay. Okay, we're all prepped and ready to go. The fountain's getting here in about 20 minutes. And there's going to be about three of us. Um, Ray, me, and we are paying a delivery guy to help us get it back here. So it's all tamped leveled and ready to go and we have the back plantings done which I'll go over later okay that's where the uh, the pump connection goes to it Okay, well she's all done and uh, this bumps up against our screen house and this is where we all gather. Uh, we have put in a fan and if you have a hard top gazebo like this, they just hook up and they provide so much air circulation. So I recommend it highly. But we all gather in here, every barbecue, put up the screening. You can see right through it to this whole fountain area. And sorry about the light. We've put boulders around it and we do have a large boulder here, but it weighs about 360 pounds. And when we got all of these boulders off, I think all the boulders came to about 650 pounds that we put around here. And I believe there are five, five boulders all of varying, um, but even this, that's the one we're using as a step out, was I think about 100 pounds. That one was significantly um, more weighty. This will be replaced with another one of those. And we find a, an appropriate one that fits in this space. And this is so our grandchildren can get to the fountain, put their little toys in it and play. So the big, the big uh, boulder is out in the driveway and then literally about a third of the way from the end of our driveway. I'll, I'll, I'll show you it, but it broke the board that we were rolling it down onto our cart, broke right through it, popped up, near broke my wrist luckily we were both okay but boy did that thing i mean a thick board just broke it so and we've done a lot of um, boulder work and rock work and that's the first time we've seen that but it was kind of we, we kind of lucked out and nobody got really hurt and um this, this is a stilby which there is some splash because we keep the fountain really full 
pasta. These are the original Endless Summers. We have such good luck with them. They bloom and bloom and bloom for us here. Give them a little cow manure and they are thrilled. More pasta. We did knock back all the Pakistandra um, just to give these guys a chance, but we'll let it come right back in around the plants and they should do fine with the packy, throw it around it, and that will give us our evergreen look. As you see that hosta, that's a very old hosta, maybe 18 years old, the chartreuse one in the back. Not sure what breed it is. Well, not maybe not breed, but uh, type. Um, and it does great with the packy all around it. It's been living like that for 18 years. Perfectly happy, healthy hosta. It's very shaded in here, so we needed shade plants. Here's another, still the plant from the summer in azalea and finally the caladiums are starting to pop up in my pots so i have them under planted with the lamian and some um uh, i believe i don't think that's a coral bells i think that's a hookerella perhaps i forget i think i might have discussed it in another video but i'm not sure i forget at this point i have so many plants but it really turned out nice. It's got a great view from both directions. And um, it's across from the new, we put in a frog pond. So we have this, which is a little bit more formal looking, but across is our wildlife uh, beds that we've started. Um, one of which now has a frog pond in it. And that video should be coming out within the week, very soon. So yeah, we'll, we'll eventually get that boulder back here. It's, we're going to have to get a, some help and change that patio block to a regular rock. That's just there temporarily. So I hope you enjoyed watching this project. Um, I'm really thrilled with how it turned out. This is kind of where we play our games. We have the cornhole set that we play. And of course, you know, our entire screen room. I'm not sure if this is 12 by 12. I know it's oversized. It has a hard top on it. It's wonderful. And just regular screening. But as you can see from this direction, you can, you can see through it. And we can also unzipper it and, and have a perfect view to it when the bugs aren't as bad as they normally are around here. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you got some ideas. Um, have a great day and I hope to see you in the next one.